In today's project, we're going to be looking at how we can generate AI images thanks to your smart home using OpenAI and Home Assistant. By the end of this video, you should be able to create a card in your dashboard in Home Assistant that is AI generated. Specifically, I'm going to be using your local weather and also an image of the town where you actually live. This is Geo from Smart Home Makers and now let's roll the intro. So you're going to need a paid account in OpenAI. I would suggest before committing and putting your card details to get this up and running, that you follow through this video entirely, find out if this is something that you might be interested in doing in your own smart home. Once you have set up an account with OpenAI, you need to add your payment option. I actually topped up only $5 for the purpose of this video. And with my testing, I so far nearly consumed one dollar. What I would advise you to do is to go to the usage limits in this tab and ensure that you've set a limit that's not perhaps $120, which seems to be the monthly limit that OpenAI sets. So I've set a hard limit of actually $5 and a soft limit is when you actually get a notification that you're going over uh, your certain, a certain threshold. Your mileage might vary in terms of cost depending on each time Home Assistant calls the API, but we're gonna talk about that in the tutorial. Now you need to generate an API key in the OpenAI website. Go to Users API Key, click Create New Secret Key, add in a name so you know what this is used for, like Home Assistant, for example, and then you'll get your key. Keep a safe copy of this key, don't share the key, and if you think that your key has been compromised, you can always go here and delete the key and you can actually issue a new one. Now that you've got that API key, jump back to Home Assistant, go to Settings, Devices and Services and click Add Integration. Now search OpenAI, click on the OpenAI conversation, paste in your API key and you're done. You can see we have the entry over here and I actually have one entry which is the OpenAI conversation. Going back to this dashboard, this if we edit the dashboard, I will show you what's behind this card. We have an image entity. So this image entity, and you can see that I've been playing around with different names of this image entity. This needs to be created thanks to two things. You need an automation and a little bit of code in your configuration.yaml file. If you're not entirely sure what I'm talking about, or if you're new to Home Assistant, remember there's always the link in the description down below for my free Home Assistant course which will get you up and running. So how do we create this? So jump into the automations. You'll find them under settings, automations and services and click create automation. I'm gonna show you the one I created previously. Now the trigger point is the point in which your image is gonna refresh. So when do you want your image to refresh? Now I want the image to refresh every time the weather status changes. So that is gonna be the main driver for your API costs. So if it's a, a rare event, that happens, you'll have a lower cost. If it's a more frequent event, so if the weather changes more frequently, wherever you live, for example, then you will incur a higher cost than what um, I'm showing you in this video specifically. So keep an eye out on the cost when you're testing it out if you want to actually do this. So anyway, I'm using actual temperature as a trigger point. Here's the action, this is the main point. So this action over here, you can see, um, ask OpenAI to generate an image. This is the service, OpenAI conversation dot generate underscore image. So you'll see this in YAML, but you can actually do this in the UI. So click add action and then go to call services. And then you just go open AI, right? Generate image. And then you can say, turn a prompt into an image. So you'll need to use the integration that we used before. Prompt, so you can say, um, I want a car, with a clown. You put the size of the image you want and you can save this response in a variable and this is sort of what we are actually doing. So I can actually say something like clown and then save it and then if I were to execute this I'll get um, a URL response with the actual image that I get generated. Now if you created it with the UI you can click on the three dots and click on edit in YAML at this stage, you should be able to find the config entry. This is going to be unique to your own instance and it's going to be common for all automations that you create. At this stage, also, you can feel free to add in the state weather.home. 
So the prompt is actually what you want the AI to give you back. So what's the tax that you want to ask the AI? So we're doing the weather in London based on the current weather, but you could do whatever you want really, even nothing related to weather at all. If you wanna do a quick copy and paste for this code, there's a link in the description to the blog post that is related on my website that is related to this video. So now that you've got this and we've uh, captured the response variable in the generated image, we can actually now go to the configuration.yaml and add the missing part. To access your configuration.yaml, you're going to need either the file editor add-on or use the Samba files or use like Visual Studio Code. Those are the three common ways of actually accessing your file. Once you've opened up your file, you can make those changes quite quickly. So if you've already got a template sensor in your configuration, for example, I had this from a previous video that I made about the tumble dryer and checking the power status of it. So I'm using the same template and underneath here, as you can see, this is the new piece of code at 487 in my configuration. Um, and you can see the indentation here this is very important because this means that this is part of this. And you can see that we have a trigger, an alias. So we can update in the image when a new weather image is generated. And we're using the event platform and we're using the specific event type, a new weather image, which is, this is, um, you need to be precise on the event type, which is the same one that you will have config you configured previously. And we're using an image entity to capture the name of the entity, for example, now I've renamed as Sunny Day in London. And then the URL, you can just keep the same URL. Go, basically, this is the trigger.event.data.url. So it's basically pulling the URL that the AI responds with the image. So basically it's web hosted, the image, and you're just reading the link. So once you've configured this and you've uh, restarted Home Assistant, you will have it accessible to you in your dashboard like you can see over here. If you want to see more videos like this, then remember to boost this video with a like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And use the comment section down below to give me feedback to let me know which type of content you actually want to see on this channel. I'm going to do a quick demonstration now of how quickly the image actually updates when you change something in the automation. So let's find the automation we created previously, in my example, OpenAI test. So I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna to go to the action section. Where we have this ask OpenAI to generate an image. And we can see we are using London when the weather is da da da. So we can change London and we can pick another city. So let's say we pick Tokyo, okay? And we just save it. At this point, we could wait until the weather changes to see if it updates, but because we are on a video, we wanna do this quickly. We could just run to test it. So click run. And at that point, now this is live and I'm not cutting anything of the video and I'm not refreshing the browser at all. Here is the, um, what I believe is the skyline of Tokyo. So that took five to six, seven, eight seconds. We can do it again. So let's now uh, use Paris as an example. So type Paris in, save, three dots, run, automation so here is the buffer time again so let's see how long it takes this time to update the image and here's paris we have the current weather condition where i am uh, specifically which is close to london so you can actually see uh, that and if you pay close attention to these images you can actually see there are like ai generated uh, images and, and remember you can kind of like completely change this uh, completely and put whatever you want here. It doesn't have to be based on the weather. Another interesting point. So I'm quite curious to find out what use cases you are going to do because what else can you use in your home to ask AI to do things for you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll leave you with this video over here for more Home Assistant project. I'll leave you with this video over here for more Home Assistant project. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.